can solve crossword puzzles while I'm playing the piano. <laughs> I mean, that's not that hard. Um, I'm, uh, I'm about to celebrate my 30th year living on the Upper West Side of Manhattan, and um, I'm sort of thinking back to when I first moved to my neighborhood, when it was not quite the glorious, wonderful place that it is today. It was, it was um, well, it, it, it wanted to be. We had, um, we had our own little restaurant row, for instance. Uh, it was three, three brownstones on 75th Street. The first one, uh, they sold, um, it was a whole grain restaurant. They called themselves Oat Cuisine. Uh, next door to that, you could find the world's most expensive fast food hamburger at McDonald Trump. <laughs> and beyond that was the place that invented Texan Chinese cuisine, fusion. It was called Yi Ha. So the Upper West Side was trying to pick itself up, but the fact is that when I moved into the neighborhood, it was still a fairly scary and dangerous place. So if we could have the lights looking more scary and dangerous. That's good. Perfect. <laughs> this is a, a song from a show that I once tried to write which I, I thought had the brilliant title, uh, Upper West Side Story. <laughs> Except that it was pointed out to me that that joke had been made 800 times before. So from the musical, do not go, Gentry, into that Upper West Side. <laughs> okay, fine. I'll go back to Upper West Side Story then. On the street of Amsterdam, there's a barbecue place where the chicken's all right, but the pork's a disgrace. On the street of Amsterdam, there's a specialty store selling shoes just for walking and only size four. On the street of Amsterdam, that's where women's books is. They've got everything from fear of flying on the street of Amsterdam, you can get your pants pressed, though you'll look out of place mid the casually dressed. On the street of Amsterdam, there's a pizza place where the lasagna is great, the calzone only fair. Marinara is the sauce, never pesto or clam. They are not what you'll find on the street of Amsterdam. On the street of Amsterdam, Louis's bakery is closed. Look elsewhere for sponge cake if you're so disposed. On the street of Amsterdam, where the tailor once was, there's another guy now. No one knows what he does. <laughs> on the street, there's a place on Amsterdam, the sign says, candy store. If you ask for a Snickers, they'll give you what for. On the street of Amsterdam, the bodegas hang on in the face of competitors fresh from Saigon. On the street of Amsterdam, there's a store that's for rent, and a store that's for rent, and a store that's for rent. All the charms of Amsterdam, they will soon go away. Oh my God, now they're doing the same to Broadway as the street of Amsterdam, as the street of Amsterdam. <laughs> 